It matters where you buy bundles. Paxify. Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of State of Survival at Wacko Rush Gaming. So on Sunday, I realized this screen popped up. A new age, it says. Yeah, I was thinking, is this the new Migo? Migo 7.0 maybe? Then at reset, it all got cleared up. The screen was actually to introduce the arrival of the Age of Outreach. It would have been better if State of Survival actually were to release the system message a lot earlier. However, I'm not surprised. Typically, with their style, it's either no information or late information. I guess it's better late than never. Nevertheless, as we know, fair matching has been a big issue within State of Survival. So it seems, as more states are dying, this feature is being rolled out and is now being tested in states 19 to states 330. State of Survival wants to increase the pool of states that can be matched with one another. There were a small group of test states previously that already had the Age of Outreach event. However, it looks like the pool of states has been extended to state 19 to state 330. Most of us within the state range already have all our heroes up to generation 11, which are Kyle, Buzz and Scope. Therefore, the only benefit for us would be the unlocking of generation 12 heroes Laurie, Ram and Cody. Fear threatens to tear the settlement apart. Power's running low. Radar, the lookout tower, even the research lab have all gone dark. Beyond our walls, a calamity unfolds. Our world's fragmenting. Settlements are wrenched in two. And behind it all, once again, Gigacorp. Vast barriers block our way. Bring them down and witness the breaking of a new dawn. The World Chaos event, there's no way to fail it, basically. You practically are guaranteed to pass through. It will be no trouble whatsoever. While it's great for free-to-play players and low spenders, as the rewards include 10 Kyle frags, 10 Laura frags, 10 bus frags, 10 strings frags, 10 scope frags, and 10 corner frags. I mean, that's about in total 60 hero fragments in total, which is pretty cool. As you can see, this gorilla aim is pretty darn terrible. Am I point trying to point the pointer to the target or to the middle of this yellow bar? I can't figure this out. Finally, jeez. Unfortunately for some other folks who already have maxed out those heroes, like myself, there's little to no benefits for this World of Chaos event as I currently see it. I mean, I can't even recycle any of these legendary hero fragments. Look, I guess the energy core analysis, the concept is very similar to the Wild Racing event. You can either complete all your daily task and obtain 200 analysis progress capsules to unlock the levels alternatively you could also use biocaps and unlock the levels in the energy core analysis event if i was you ladies and gentlemen i would ask you to take your time once completed you will obtain 40 lorry hero fragments 40 Ram Hero Fragments and 40 Cody Hero Fragments. If you can afford to spend $5 to unlock the Epic Crate, you will get another additionally 65 Lori Hero Fragments, 65 Ram Hero Fragments and 65 Cody Hero Fragments. To be honest with you, this is the cheapest ever I've seen the price of Hero Fragments. In my previous videos, I've asked many of you to avoid getting the Generation 11 Heroes of Kyle, Buzz and Scope. Kyle, Buzz and Scope were one of the most poorest heroes in terms of their skills. The only other heroes that were as bad as them 
or not worse, were the Generation 9 heroes. So, if you followed my advice, then you're in luck. I would highly recommend that you get this bundle if you can afford it. Separately, if you skip Generation 11 heroes, then I would highly recommend that you try to max out the Generation 12 heroes. Generally, the price of one legendary hero fragment is typically valued around 50 cents each. So when you're getting 195 Generation 12 hero frags by unlocking the crate for the price of $5, then they are valued around $97.50. Now, this is the cheapest I've ever seen them, so I would say it's a bargain. They truly are worth it. There is another sneaky addition that has gone unnoticed. However, before that, I want to ask you whether you would like to save some money on your bundle purchases. If your answer is yes, then Paxify is the solution that you're looking for. I took some time going through my purchases over the last one year, and since I've come to use Paxify, I've saved around £5,000 using Paxify. If you're worried about the safety of your account details, then bind your account to FunPlus and you will never lose access to your account because it can never be unbinded. So what are you waiting for? Check out the link in the description below and start saving today with Paxify. Now let's get back to the sneaky edition. I don't know whether you're aware of this or not, but the developers has also updated the hero appointment feature. New position bonus were added to the defensive strategist, flag bearer and vanguard hero appointment. If you have some spare service badges lying around, then I would ask you to wait and not use it. You should check out this video in the link above or alternatively, I've also added a link in the description below on when would it be best for you to use those precious service badges. Now, my recommendation on utilizing your service badges in a smart way, especially if you're a rally leader, would be for, use, for you to use those service badges on the flag bearer position bonus, then the vanguard position bonus ahead of the rest. For obvious reasons, if you're not a rally leader, then focusing just on increasing your attack and defense by using those command manuals or tactical books should be more of your priority. Well, that's all folks for today. Thanks for watching. If you like my videos, please subscribe, leave a comment and turn on your notification bell for more amazing videos. Thank you. Goodbye.